Yo, what's up, guys? With the upcoming final national championship coming up, I think it'll be a great time to teach everyone on how to catch cheaters. But it's not just for Digimon. You can apply this to any card game. Any. So I want to start championship, but there wasn't enough people, so I didn't get an invite. Oh well. Okay, let's go. So today we'll be looking at the types of cheating and what to look for when facing against a cheater. And later on, I'll show you how I caught one back in the November 2021 Carta Magica Regionals. It was insane, man. This dude was like a demon rat and he beat like three opponents before me and two owed them each time. The number one thing you could possibly do is just stream your matches. Learn to stream and play your matches. I can make a video on it if you want. Let's start with the most common type of cheating, which is basically adding or changing cards when the cheaters want. The only way this can happen is if you cannot see your opponent's hand at all. Let's refer to this as DNCing. As they do not care, they are going to hell. Here's the first example of a cheater changing out their hand before the round even starts. Yep. Otherwise known as DNCing. Cause seeing is believing. Bro. Did you catch it? Nope. Let me show it to you again. See, in that single split moment, he could have changed it to whatever he wanted without the streamer even noticing. Here he is doing it again. It will always assure that he has a good opening hand with a good stack to Digivolve to. Three jacks race. Yeah, it's like one of those things where once the loop goes, that's when it flows. But yeah, it's like one of those things where once the loop goes, that's when it flows. But Bro, that was so cringe. Why do demon rats always rhyme? This is why I'm stressing you need to stream your matches. Even if a judge was there, they wouldn't even notice it either. It is only up to you to catch them. Oh, yes, I can't Daddy. tell you how many times I had a judge sit there and watch a guy cheat in front of me. The reverse of DNCing is possible too. Here's the purple cheater removing his added cards so judges couldn't count them. This is how he managed to win several tournaments already without being caught. Thanks to streamer Bowser for finally catching him. The second type of cheating I want to talk about is more uncommon, but many people still do it anyways, and that is stacking. Stacking refers to presetting your hand deck and or shuffle to try and prevent bricking. Kind of similar to what the previous cheater did, except this way, they try to control their shuffles, so they'll always have a good hand. Here's the most blatant example of stacking. The sussy bak on the left is already looking at his cards before he stacks them to keep them in a favorable order. Then watch how he shuffles. Your RNG's too strong, man. You can't stop it. First check Davis, second check Omni once. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Literally the only reason I lost the game. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. Look at that. He isn't Everything even works. shuffling. He's just keeping them in order and just playing with himself. And he's looking at his cards yeah. again. He's trying to stack his hand and security again. Dio's bad for a purple hair cross, man. He's just shaking his head in disbelief and hoping it's over soon. Wait, what the heck is this? This is so bad, man. We have to watch it again. All right, let's see what he does. He makes one, two, three, four piles. Puts four on two, takes four back, puts two on one, puts two back, puts one on three, and puts one and three on four and two in the bottom. Hmm, I'm not even mad. This guy's a clown. He makes people happy. In the next footage, I'm gonna teach you how to break these stackers. 
To be honest, it's pretty easy to prevent cheaters from getting their stack. You just tell them to power shuffle and that they're going to hell. One. Uh, let's do... Can you... Uh, power shuffle into four piles? That's it. How about you? How do you want them? Oh, no, no, power shuffle. Okay. Oh, even though he just told you that's not randomizing anything? Oh, really? Oh, yeah. yeah. He just he, he just said that in the, uh, I, I'll do it. That's uh, okay. fine. All right. Cool. Gonna take time. I guess I'll have you do it as well. All right. You're actually supposed to mix up the piles together after they create the piles. But for me, this is good enough. I usually prefer asking my opponent to power shuffle into two or four, but you can do whatever number feels right for you. Some neurologists like to power shuffle eight. I was looking to cut. Yeah, I was hmm. Okay. Okay. How about you? I can top them. I can top them. No, I was able to beat him easily because of this. I'll go first. I didn't see him shuffle really well when we started a match, and he was hesitant on power shuffling. <laughs> then he broke the rest of the match, so it's pretty worth it. Guess we'll try to get five. Remember, if you don't see them shuffle really well, then we got a problem and you have to tell them to shuffle for real this time. And you can even call a judge. Otherwise, you'll run into clowns like these. So he has a card and now he's looking at his hand. <laughs> he's looking at his freaking stacks as he's putting them together. Uh, half and top five to the bottom. Uh, Alright, this Sorry, type of cheating upside down cards I've like never that. seen before. It's it's like super rare or something. I think there's a card in there that's still upside down. Zuhair is probably contacting the judge right now, mm -hmm. which is what you should immediately uh, do you whenever you see something suspicious. Yeah, I'll go first. Bing, bing, bong, bong, bing. Oh, there it is. Man, man, cheaters, their balls are just too big or something. Next up on the list is a less rare type of cheating, which I just call adding. Simply, it's just adding cards to your hand where you're not supposed to, whether it's extra draws or whatnot. There's actually a sad story about this. Some Dio Boromon players recently in the European final nationals, they topped, but in, but both of them were disqualified and perhaps cheating. And it sucks because everybody's rooting for Dio Boromon because it's an underdog. It sucks. Basically, this guy just draws off an errata when you're not supposed to. But I'm not sure if that is cheating. Cause he's doing it buck naked right in the open. I, I, it could be a misplay. Who knows? The best way to catch adders is to count their cards every turn. It's really difficult to try and watch their hand all game while you're trying to play your own game. So it's better if you first make sure their setup is perfect first. Just like how you see mine on the right. Again, you can watch DigiPanda's video on this topic. It's really good. I highly recommend it. Linked in the description. Take a... So uh, someone sent me this down. video and... Uh, I don't know what to say, man. I, I have to talk about it. I'll take the and I have to call out streamers to for it. Because this brings up my next cheating topic. Which is coaching. Yep. Now coaching is self-explanatory. You shouldn't be coached at all during a match against another player. 
and especially in a tournament like this one, which was a 150 person Jaro Sean tournament. I believe there was a $250 prize pool, so it's even more sad. Oh, sorry. Bell should have been free. Uh, Gundramon came... Yeah, I, I didn't count Gundramon. Uh, so with Gundra, it would have been 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, so I'd be at 0. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, Joe yeah. Dobby, that is your mistake. You need a home, and I have to call you out for it. It's not just Joe Dobby, but most of the streamers you know do this too. Many of whom are coached by their own chat and even act out on it. It's a secret rare type of cheating that well-known streamers can unlock, and it's bad enough that most of them are meta scum. However, to use your influence on other people, including your opponent and maybe even tournament organizers, it's kind of not fair. Streamers are supposed to be the prime shining examples of people within a community. But stream coaching like that just isn't cool, man. This is for everyone, yet at the end of the day, we're all just players trying to have fun. You shouldn't get into this game because you're doing it out of greed. You should get into it because you love it and Digimon. And hate Pokemon. Screw Pokemon. Oh, sorry. Bell should have been free. Uh, Gundramon came... Yeah, I, I didn't count Gundramon. So with Gundra, it would have been 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, so I'd be at 0. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah. So we reached the 12 minute mark for this video, and I don't think I can show you how I caught the cheater, because I know your attention spans are almost up. But you can just watch Digipanda's video instead. I can make a more advanced tutorial later, but for now, I'll show you this clip that'll help you in online play. That's fine. Yeah. Nah, nah, you need to keep playing, but... No, 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 I'll wait till you call the judge. So there's just no way to move the webcam. It's mounted, it doesn't like, like, mm. it's like, it doesn't, yeah, mm. like, if, if I do it, it'll, it'll just, like, shift. Uh, like, like, I do that, it'll just shift. Uh, can you move the monitor? Can you tilt the monitor? No, no, the monitor doesn't tilt. Okay. And then, uh, how about move the, the, uh, what's it called, the, the mat? Forward, yeah. Mm -hmm. Forward, okay. Forward, and then you can put to review. We have DNCers, stackers, adders, coachers, and to prevent them, you just start streaming. Make sure they shuffle good, count their cards, and just like the last clip, you can make them move their camera or else call a judge. Make sure to abuse the judging system, cause you'll never know what you'll catch. I even do it when I'm winning. Oh yeah, watch out for slow playing too. Some players intentionally slow play to drag out their win or draw. Also in pre-release events, people have been bringing in pre-made decks instead of building one like everyone else. It's messed up. In online tournaments, they can do whatever they want to you off screen the moment you can't see their hand they can spit on you spray you neuter you chip you tax you vax you and you wouldn't even know heck you might even support them or even congratulate them and tell them gg do you guys have any more questions or have any tips or have any submissions for me, just write it in the comments. I'd be glad to help.